is my most favorite webcomic. I feel like she's writing it just to entertain me. Her humor is so synced up. And also, her cast is so diverse. She's got all these different sexualities. She's got all these different races, all these different body types. But it's not preachy. It's not like, listen, politically correct time. It's just like, here are these people living and existing and being hilarious and having sex and having misadventures. And she uses it for education too. Like she had this whole thing about STDs, but it was hilarious but it was secretly educational. My favorite comic character is Spider-Man. He was who hooked me on comics in the first place. Uh, again, he was uh, he was unlike Superman, where Superman pretended to be a nerd, Spider-Man was actually a nerd. Where, Sp where Superman pretended to have problems as Clark Kent and be a klutz, Spider-Man had legitimate problems. So that was my entry point into uh, into comics. And uh, even though I've gone other places and I, I love a wide variety of stuff, I think Spider-Man uh, remains my uh, first love. I don't have a favorite comic. Like, I'm into to all sorts of stuff. I follow political cartoons real intensely. I read graphic novels. I even still buy a few like hokey superhero comics every month. So I don't really know if I can say I got a favorite. Some of my favorite comics to read are actually uh, the creators are in this room right now. Uh, Delilah Dirk by Tony Cliff is fantastic. Uh, Profit by Brandon Graham and Simon Roy is one of my favorite comics. I've collected every one. And uh, and also the uh, Adventure Time and Simpsons comics, too, are also some of my favorites. Probably still, after 30 years, uh, that would be uh, Jaime Hernandez's locust cycle of stories in Love and Rockets. Well, I think in the grand scheme of things, probably for me, it would be like a Canadian Golden Age comic, um, just because that's sort of my area of interest. And um, I'm working on a book about Vernon Miller and, um, and Bud Smith that uh, published the first Canadian comic. So, and Iron Man was the first superhero that was in it, so I'm sort of, he's kind of my guy a little bit. <laughs> the last thing that I read that I really, really liked was uh, White Clay by Tom Herpick. And uh, I think he's only done like three comics, like full, you know, comics that he sold. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's, I'd, I will reread that a lot. It's like really inspiring to me. Right now, my favorite comic is um, Table Titans by Scott Kurtz, and it's colored by Mary Cagle. And it's about D&D, but it's really about human interactions um, and people trying to come together in the kind of social hierarchy of being in a nerd group, um, and it's just, it's great. It's a great comic.